Yo, what's going on guys? Future Artist here now. Back with another video, finally after ages like of another tutorial. Um, like I promised, I'm work I made like uh see I'm making a CC tutorial for you guys and it's gonna be of like a really like uh I call this like high quality sharp color corrections because they're really sharp and they look really clean. Let me show you guys a little preview of what they are before I start so you guys can see and I'll show you how it looks on like multiple games. Like for example, Advanced Warfare, I'm gonna show you. It looks pretty clean, it's got the, it's really sharp, looks really good. Um, Advan um, Modern Warfare 2, looks pretty good on here as well. Let me show it on Black Ops 1, see how that looks. Looks really cool as well. I really like these color corrections. I haven't used it in an edit just yet because I just like worked on these recently and I'm working on an edit with this as well and it looks pretty good on um, uh, Black Ops 2 as well but it gets a little too uh, bright at times but anyways let's get right into the tutorial let's start off actually before we do that let me show a little footage of it as well <laughs> alright so a few frames of rendered out let's sh let me show you a little preview of it So yeah, that's basically um, <clears throat> how it looks, and you can mess around to change the color of the glow and stuff. Let me go and make a new comp and start on this color correction for you guys now. First of all, what I start with is making a like a sharp slash RSMB settings layer, which I'm gonna add. First, start off with RSMB and real smart. That's my real smart motion blur, and I put it on 0.25 and 90. I don't really know. No, much about RSMB. I just put it on a low amount because I don't really like it being too high. If you put it really high, it's just gonna look really, uh, really like the opposite of a clean edit. Basically, I just don't like it. And I added in sharpness, put it at 20. I actually didn't know sharpen that was that good up until like uh, Synergy Joe told me that was ages ago. But yeah, uh, after. Sharpen. I put on sharp mask, and what I put this on is 70 for the amount and one for the radius, and that makes it really sharp. Like it was like already sharp from just sharpness, but when you add that in, it looks really, really clean as well. But the uh, problem is that you can see like a white border around around the clips and stuff. So what I add to fix with that is um, I just add transform at one and like 101 and that would uh, fix like the whitish border around the clip. And anyways, what I do next is I get on with a curves layer, which I mess around with. And what I do for this one is um, let me add curves first. What I do for this is just mess around. All right, and now after I add the curves, I'm just gonna mess around with it a little bit. Like for example, um, it's gonna look really weird when right now, but trust me, it'll work out in the end. Um, I'm just gonna mess around with like the RGB part, maybe a little bit of the reds, and just trust me in the end, it's gonna all work out. Don't worry about it. It looks really weird at the moment. It's really like. It's too much to the color correction at the moment. Like, let me see how it looks on another game. Oh yeah, it's really red at the moment. Let me add, mess around with the blue a little bit. Oh crap. Let me undo that. Blue. Mess around with that. Um, looks really freaking weird right now. Wow. Um, I'm just gonna, oh, not too much. But like, basically the point of this is to just mess around with the, um, the curves like make one part of it like for example the bottom part lower and the top part higher like the bottom part higher and the top part lower and what I do in the end is set the layer mode to soft light and that's what basically makes the color correction look so freaking clean um it might like right now it might look really weird on my offer too but it looks pretty cool on black ops 2 so I'm gonna mess around with the curves again so it looks a little bit better on this game as well maybe uh, lower the red and the blue maybe a bit all right that looks a bit better it's not that great but it's, um like on my for two but it still looks pretty cool let me see how it looks on ghost um, i think it looks pretty decent on ghost 
Let me see another COD. That looks really cool on Black Ops 1. Alright, so what I do next is after this layer, I go ahead and make another layer, but this one's not gonna have like a a what's it called? It's not gonna be set to soft light, it's just gonna be stuff to normal. And what I add for this one is a glow. And let me find glow. Let me add it on. After I add in glow, I mess around with the settings to put first I put this on screen. Let me find it. There you go. And then I go to original colors and I put that to A and B colors and triangles into sawtooth A over B. And then now what that did was like um at first the glow was like really thick I guess or whatever like but this is like it feels like it's feathered out or whatever but yeah what I put the radius on now is 100 and now you can see how like cool the glow looks like it's uh I can't really explain it but you know what I mean but what I do next is uh put the threshold at 70 the threshold I usually put it really high because if it's low it'll be like all over the freaking screen and next what I do is go to color A and put a color I want. Right now I think white looks really cool but just for the heck of the tutorial I'm going to put a little bit of a red to like mess around with the CC to make it look a little weird, different. And then maybe a little bit of blue. Um, if these two colors are very different uh, it's not going to look that cool. Like sometimes if I put blue and red it's not going to look that cool. Uh, like, and so far it looks really cool. I really like this color correction made oh let me go over here and let's see how it looks on advanced warfare it looks pretty good as well uh, let's see let me find a specific but there you go that looks really good this is without the CC and this is with the CC all right now what I'm gonna add next is we're not done now we're um we're almost done though what I add next is vibrance and I just put that on 30 around 30 maybe 35 and the saturation to like around mi ne minus 10 or minus 20 and I just think it looks a little bit cooler like it's a it's less saturated but the colors are a bit vi more vibrant or you can do the opposite where you make a saturation minus and I mean the vibrance minus and the saturation up and it looks pretty cool it's not that this isn't like a really important part of the CC but I think it adds a bit more to it to make it look a little better and what I add next is a color balance this actually I don't really add I wouldn't really add this because it doesn't do bit that much of a change but I just like to mess around with the colors at times and maybe like uh, mess around with the shadow maybe with minus two maybe ten something like that mess around with those you can notice that it got a bit greener at some parts since I put the shadow green balance up and yeah that's basically all for the color correction, I'm just gonna render a bit of this uh, Black Ops 2 clip. All right, so five seconds of it is rendered out, so um, I'm just gonna play this now. And right now, I have like the white glow version. I didn't show you guys how like to make the blue glow version, but all you have to do is just go to color A, and I'll, I'll actually do it after I show you this clip. Hold up, let me play it. Yeah, that's really clean, really sharp. I really love this. Wow freaking beautiful but anyways let me show you guys how like the color creation in the beginning look because I didn't show exactly how it looked I just uh, put these color like the glow and settings instead but like I just add a little bit of blue there and a darker bit of blue here and there you go it's not exactly the same but it's pretty similar and I'm gonna put this uh, color creation in the description for you guys to use in case you guys are too lazy to make this but yeah and if you guys use it make sure to like maybe link the tutorial in the description make sure to link this tutorial so people can see how to make it yeah guys um that's about it hope you learned something new and just so you guys know i probably said this already but i'm gonna have like a correction color correction pack similar to the like similar to the color corrections here for my 2k special uh 2k editing pack so uh you guys better watch out for that and um i already hit 2k but i was just too lazy to work on the pack so i'm working on it now I've done a bit, but you know, um, I didn't finish it, obviously, because it's not out yet. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment on what you guys would like to see, and if this video helped you, make sure to like, and like I said, um, if you use the color corrections, link the tutorial in the description so other people can see it. That's all I ask for um, you guys. Sometimes I help teach you guys to make this. But yeah, guys, uh, see ya.